diseases. Today we're going to be doing eye and we're going to be talking about inflammatory bowel diseases. Uh, in particular, we're going to be talking about ulcerative colitis versus Crohn's disease. I'm going to spend most of my time talking about UC because UC is much more common. So when you talk about Crohn's disease, Crohn's disease and UC, they differ in the fact that ulcerative colitis affects mostly the large bowel, while Crohn's disease can affect any part of the digestive system. So when you're talking about ulcerative colitis, it affects about a million people here in the United States, and most of those being women. It usually affects in the different times, different parts or stages of your life from 15 to 25 years old, and then again it can spike up again around 55 to 65 years old. Also, colitis is seen with this, the certain type of uh, symptoms when you present. You'll present with these symptoms. It will be mucus in your stool. You would have a slow onset. It takes a little while to kind of you know get going. Uh, you will have rectal bleeding frequent bowel movements and frequent uh, diarrhea and those are some of the main things you would see. When ulcerative colitis gets real bad you can see some other things and one of those things is fever, increased heart rate and abdominal distension meaning that your stomach you know, gets kind of bigger. So when you, when you go to your doctor or if you suspect yourself of having these symptoms you go to your doctor um, your doctor may be able to do some testing and take a look and see what's going on. But one of the biggest things is that your doctor may refer you to a specialist, a person that's a little bit smarter than your primary care doctor about uh, gastrointestinal problems. And then they will do a what's called an endoscopy or a colonoscopy so that they can be able to diagnose what's going on. Once this is done, then the treatment for it is usually anti-inflammatory. So let me go back a little bit and kind of tell you how ulcerative colitis works or how it works on the body. Ulcerative colitis is thought to be autoimmune. And when I say autoimmune, I want you to think about it like this. Say, for instance, you have a guard dog. And the guard dog is pretty good. You know, it usually barks at intruders and doesn't bark at you and your family. But say, for instance, the guard dog gets old, he gets blind, so now he can't tell the difference between intruders or your wife. So when your wife comes in the house, he's barking at your wife, as well as barking at robbers. So that's kind of how your body gets with ulcerative colitis. What happens is the body starts to not recognize yourself as being good, and it thinks it's an intruder and it wants to attack it. So most of the things that we do with ulcerative colitis, and you see, uh, to be able to take care of it is we use steroids. And I'm not talking about steroids like Arnold Schwarzenegger used to get big, but I'm talking about steroids that kind of help with inflammation, help with swelling. So that'll be most of the things that we look toward doing. So these things are something you probably need to see your primary care doctor uh, to get prescribed. So to kind of wrap it up a little bit or to kind of get a brief uh, action point for you, you should probably think that you have uh, ulcerative colitis if you're having rectal bleeding, if you're having mucus in your bowel movements, if you're starting to have increased uh, abdominal distension, and this usually occurs over the course of months. This is not something they say, oh, you know, one weekend I ate a bad hot dog and I started having abdominal problems. You probably don't have ulcerative colitis. But if this has been going over the course of months, then you should present to your primary care doctor. Well, he'll probably do the appropriate labs or send you to a gastrointestinal specialist where they may do a colonoscopy. This is Dr. Damian Sandlin bringing you the ABCs of Common Diseases, and this has been I for Inflammatory Bowel Disease and Ulcerative Colitis.